Hi, welcome to the Speechify YouTube channel. In this video, we know about the tribal festivals of Meghalay. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thasi, the majority tribe of Meghalay, celebrates their indigenous festivals with traditional music and merrymaking. Most of their music has sounds of nature like that of a waterfall, bird calls, insect sounds, hum of bees, and many more. Niam Khasi, the pre-Christian Khasi religion is monotheistic in nature. There are no fixed places of worship like a church, temple or mosque. According to Niam Khasi, each element of nature has a god in it. No particular part can be held holier than the other. Khasi people's closeness to nature is evident by their belief that man should not desecrate mother nature by their actions. There are no fixed days of worship like Friday in Muslims or Sunday in Christians, rather a Khasi can worship in one's own house or out in the open because God resides in every element of nature. After the arrival of Christianity through Welsh missionaries, almost 85% of Khasi people have adopted Christianity, but a sizable minority still practices Niam Khasi. Similarly, the religions of Garo and Jantia tribes are also monotheistic in nature and believe in God being omnipresent in every element of nature. Garo religion is specifically animistic and believes in a supreme God known as Tatara Rabuga. Garos believe that man continues to exist in the form of spirit after death and dwells in a certain place before reincarnation happens. The traditions, music, and customs followed in the festivals of Meghalaya depict these belief systems. Traditional music in the festivals of Meghalaya is played on Tangamuri, Shaw Shaw, Nakra, Singh Padia, and Basli. In this video, we know some of the traditional festivals of the tribes of Meghalaya. Bahadiyeng Akhlam Bahadiyeng Akhlam festival is the most celebrated cultural festival among the Nars. Bahadiyeng Akhlam, chasing away the demon of cholera, is celebrated annually in July after the sowing period, the most important dance festival of the Jantia tribes. This festival tour is also an invocation to God, seeking His blessings for a bumper harvest. The women, however, do not participate in the dancing, as they have an important function of offering sacrificial food to the spirits of the forefathers. The festival held at Jovai is one of the most well-known and recreational festivals in Meghalaya. The rituals in the Behriyakhalam festival A series of religious rites are being performed by the Daloi chief. During the Behriyankhalam cultural festival tour, young men make a symbolic gesture of driving away from the evil spirit, plague and disease by beating the roof of every house with bamboo poles. The climax of the celebration is the fight for a large unrest beam by two groups of people in opposition to each other. This leads to the heavy beam getting across a muddy ditch called Vahitner. A lot of horseplay enters into this part of the event when mud is smeared by the participants on each other. During the celebrations of the Behrikalam festival of North East India, the ceremony and ritual are carried out for three days and on the last day, in the afternoon people would gather in a place called Etnar and both young and old would dance to the tunes of the pipes and drums. The dancers are highly emotional when tall decorated structures called rots and wooden post called things would be brought into the pool. It is desirable that there should be rain on the day of the festival. The climax of this famous festival of North East India is when people dressed up in their best attire would converge to a place called Minthong to witness a game played similar to football called Dad Love Code. The game is played with a wooden ball between the Northerners and the Southerners. The side that wins the match by putting the ball on the other side would signify that in the following year there would be a bumper harvest in that particular region. In the evening there would be a lot of fun fairs and merrymaking. Kapomblang Nogakrim For five days, Khasi people celebrate the Kapomblang Nogakrim festival as a thanksgiving for harvest in the months of October or November. The dancers along with the village community pray for the peace and prosperity of its people. As part of the Pomblang ceremony, one of the important rituals of Kapomblang Nogakrim, goats are sacrificed and offered to the administrative head of Khasi state, the ancestors of the ruling clan, and to the Shalang Peak deity also known as Yuli Shalang. Most of the festivals of Meghalaya, along with Kapombleng Nogakrim, are celebrated to please the all-powerful goddess Kable Sinshar for a bumper harvest and well-being of people. 
Once religious rituals are over, the music from Tangamuri and Nakra build up the tempo for dancing where both men and unmarried women participate. Women dress up in fine costumes with gold or silver crowns having beautiful yellow flowers on them. Men and women move in circles with women forming the inner circle. The men once again take up the posture of protectors of women and dance with rigor with sword in one hand and yak hair whisk in another. Smith the capital of Khirim Siam ship near Shillong is the official venue for this ancient festival of Khasi tribe. Kashad Suk Minsim. Khasi people are close to nature. They believe that God exists in every element of nature. And thus Kashad Suk Minsim is celebrated in the month of April as a thanksgiving to mother nature for good harvest and for fresh sowing of seeds. Both men and women participate in the dance where steps of women are subtle. whereas those of men are more energetic only unmarried virgin women participate in the dance whereas there is no such restriction for men the dance begins with drums flutes and cymbals picking up the tempo two circles are formed with women on the inside and men on the outside with eyes down the women take small steps forward and backward as they gradually shift sideways to move in a circle they keep their body straight and arms loose at shoulders the men do a more energetic dance with swift movements in clockwise and anti clockwise direction around women men play a part of protectors for the women who are inside the outer circle kashad suk minsiam dance is also symbolic of women fertility where they are receptacles of seeds and bearers of fruit and men are cultivators who plant cultivate and nurture the seeds until they are harvested kashad shingwen tanja Unlike common perception and practice of spending days in sorrow after death, many tribes across the world express their sorrow with a dash of celebration and dances. Repeated movements in sync become dance, and the solace of rocking and keening can be therapeutic. The Aboriginal people of Australia sing and dance to evoke the clan totems of a dying person. Similarly, it is common in Korea for a female shaman to do a cleansing ceremony for the soul of deceased so that it can achieve nirvana. and to close the cycle of birth and death the kinga people of africa perform dodi or muttu dances on burial day the dogo people of mali perform the mast dances like the lubbara people of uganda and angas of northern nigeria similar practices are followed by tribes from north america south america and india the khasi people of meghalaya commemorate death by celebrating with kashad shingwen tanjab dance that starts with the day of death and continues till the last rites of the deceased are over the dance signifies a blessing for the departed soul for its long journey from human to the spirit world the dance starts at a place just outside the kitchen door and is supported by men who play music on flute drums and bamboo poles kashad kinjo khaskem when a family moves into a new house the community along with the family celebrates house warming with kashad kinjo khaskem dance Kashad Kyuntui, Kashad Khalai Mayo, and Kashad Brap are the three stages of dance. There is no traditional dressing for this dance form, and the family can perform in any type of clothes that they choose to wear. Kashad Kyuntui, the first stage begins at around noon and lasts till sunset. The second stages of Kashad Khalai Mayo, all male performance, and Kashad Brap start after sunset and continue throughout the night till dawn. Women dance in a circle holding hands with each other while men dance around them. Vanma Rongachuya. The Garo tribe of Meghalaya originally settled in a number of small villages headed by a clan chief known as Nokma. The Garo people are subcategorized into 12 different clans and currently occupy the entire area of Garo Hills district. The 12 different subtribes of Garo people share a common language, culture, beliefs and religion. Garo religion is animistic in nature and they believe in a supreme god known as Tatara Rabuga. The Vanma Rongachuya dance is performed as the last ceremony of agricultural year as a thanksgiving to gods and goddesses. Dancing and singing continues for many days over beats of drums and rice beer flows endlessly. The Nokma displays his proud collection of gongs covered with long banana leaves. Rice beer is poured over the gong and fresh harvest is placed around it in a ritualistic pattern blessings are taken from missy saljon 
the Garu goddess for plentiful food grains. Unlike the Khasi dancing pattern, the Garu dance of Vanma Rongachuya involves two parallel lines of men and women. The men beat their drums and move forward and backward to the music of gongs, buffalo horns, drums and flutes. The Garu feast involves lots of meat and rice beer that lasts for days to celebrate the harvest. Mangona or Chugna The traditional funeral ceremony of Mangona or Chugna is on the verge of extinction now, but an initiative by the government of Meghalaya to revive this is underway. Rhythm of the Hills, a cultural extravaganza displaying the Garo heritage, is organized every year at Beta Singh in South West Garo Hills. During the Chugna ceremony, a small bamboo hut called Delang is erected in the courtyard of the house of the deceased. Bones of the deceased are kept in an earthen pot. After the ceremony, the bones are buried at the doorstep of the house. After the burial, the guests are served with preparations of beef and pork. During the last rites for the spirit of deceased, the community dances and sings throughout the night with the chanting of Mangatata or Kali. The ritual dance is accompanied by music from cymbals and sounds of kimjim, reeds, adils, horn trumpets, and soft sounds of a chigring, a bamboo string musical instrument. The Vangala dance is quite popular among the natives and smaller dances like Chugna need a little attention and revival so that they don't become extinct. Hence the initiative by the government of Meghalaya will play a major role in this. The state of Meghalaya is known for its music and dances. Because the dances are linked with festivals or seasons, they can be enjoyed at any time of year. Tribal dances are performed on a variety of occasions, including social, religious, agricultural, burial, and recreational gatherings. Each tribe has its own identity and distinct dance traditions linked with certain events. The music of perfect pace, exquisite tunes, and traditional instruments reverberate throughout the region. They also had their own set of musical instruments, including drums, harps, pipes, and flutes. Meghalayan folk dances are performed outside, beneath the open sky, or in public areas. Did you know about these popular folk dances of Meghalay before? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting video notifications.